Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to a little bit of Sniper Ghost of Warrior 3. I gotta tell you, I'm really loving the shit out of this game. Um, right now, I've just been roaming around the map, just doing a lot of points of interest um, exploration. And I just, I can't express enough. I had to stop the game. I was playing it. I uh, wasn't doing any recording. And then I was like, you know what? I came across this really cool area. I was like, I wanted to share it with you guys. Just because I, I feel like this game got a lot of crap. Um, just, and rightfully so. But there are a lot of good things about the game that I wanted to share. So, uh, hence another video. Um, if you look in this area here, I was just, it was dark. Um, I was coming out of an army base. And then I happened to topple this hill. Two fighter jets flew over. I wish I would have captured that. Unfortunately, I didn't. But as I came down the hill, I just noticed this really cool area sun starting to come up there's obviously fog from the trees which i think is a really cool element that they added to the game so anyway just wanted to, to share this um, i'm going to go ahead and keep recording who the hell knows what else is going to pop up in the game as we progress through it uh, right now i have a point of interest um, that i'm checking out so i've progressed through about five missions of the story this far um, i'm only on the first map and there's just so much to do it, it's incredible I mean, you, I, I want to give the developers a little, some credit. I mean, I, again, I can't emphasize that enough with just how good of a job they did on implementing certain things in the game. Um, yes, there are issues with the game. There are bugs, and I will share that. Um, I ran across one where a guy was actually stuck in the floor after I, I killed him. I was like, where did my dude go? He fell through the wall of a house, and I went inside, and lo and behold, he's in the middle of the floor. Half his body's in, half of it's out. So, I don't know, it's one of those things if you can get over that aspect of the game and just enjoy it for what it is, it's it's a really fun game. Um, I mean, there are other games out there that are just constantly throwing things at you. Hey, do this, do that, go here, go there. And, and that's great, but this game really gives you that feel of being a sniper. I mean, you're stuck out on a remote area, and you're given free reign to do whatever the hell you want. I mean, the game has a storyline to it. Um, oh, here we go. And, uh, you know, you don't have to follow that. You can do the missions as you see fit. And I kind of do that. And then as I'm going through the map, I just do whatever. I, as you can see, I've cleared out a lot of these points of interest in this area here. And there's just really cool things that you can find, like collectibles and stuff like that, that I was like, okay, I didn't really call recall anybody, you know, talking about these aspects of the games. I mean... Uh, games i can't even talk again uh, game the the aspect of the game there there are things that um there's a most wanted list i stumbled upon after doing uh, one of the side ops which i thought was cool there's 16 most wanted you know uh, let's see if i can find it yeah right here most wanted list so you got 16 war criminals and they're just randomly thrown about the map. So I think the first map probably has about six of them in it. Uh, maybe a few less than that. And those are represented on the map itself by these little crowns. And I, I find that really, really cool. I've taken out about three of them. So if that makes four on this map, because I don't think I see any more. No, I do not. So... That's that's really neat um, to be able just to go about as you're doing the missions. You can stop and take you know a break and go after these war criminals. Now I don't know if it gives any um, special accolades for doing so, but uh, yeah, you get in here and you can actually look at. Let's see if I can find the war criminals. I stumbled on it earlier. Uh, was it under? characters yeah here it is you got to go through here so um maybe not and the collectibles are really cool these are the other things i was talking about and these get hung on your wall inside your den now where the hell is the war criminals at i actually found this earlier i may have just skipped over it most wanted here we go Find information, kill. Okay, so yeah, here's the list of them, and these are the ones that are available in the first map. I've taken out three, so there are five total, so there are two left. 
And, um, you know, if you want to look at and see what type of reward you get uh, and get a little more information on the character that you're hunting, you can do that. Normally, they're surrounded um, because they have a a cartel with them uh, to help protect them. So uh, it's still fun. It's still fun. And like I said, I'm just randomly going about the map and exploring and checking stuff out. But anyway, I wanted to share uh, because I I think it's really cool to be able to experience some of these things in the game. You can find weapons that you uh, can pick up and use those weapons, and they get they actually, um, you can use them in your inventory. You retain them, which I, I do like. I think that's really cool. There are some games out there where you pick up a weapon, you can use it, but then you don't actually open it up or unlock it. And you can do a two shot kill on this. I have not done a three shot kill as of yet. problem here is I'm way too close so we're gonna back it out a little bit and see if I can snipe these guys or not and I, I kind of just look at you know the bugs in the game as a just one of those things that happens uh, they're more prevalent in games today than they were years ago and then it's it is unfortunate because in some cases it can degrade the game so I have two there and one there or two Okay. Wow. It'd be really cool to get up on top up there and snipe down, but we're not going to do that. I'd like to get a twofer. A twofer. I don't know if I can. I need a, to line these guys up really, really well. And I'm just at a wrong angle. Let's see if I can get over here. You can see through the trees. There's one and there's one. I may be able to pull this off. So we're at 47 meters. Uh, the longest I've done so far, and it's kind of hard to do because with sniping in this game, if you get too far away, you don't see the character, um, the little uh, notification above its head to show you where they're at the locator. It disappears and then you can't find them. So the longest I've done, I think, is about 417 meters. Um, so that was by sheer luck and I wish I would have recorded that I didn't really think I'd be able to do it but I did so I'm gonna try to shoot one through the head and maybe one through the heart uh, that devil okay so he's dead and that's what i love about this game it's really cool i took out a sniper earlier again i wish i would have recorded it uh he was in a sniper tower and somehow when i shot him it actually went right through his scope and into his eye it was it was really cool uh, so i'll try to do a little bit more recording of this game since i'm enjoying it so much um, there's just so many different facets to it to being able to use your quote-unquote snipers batman skills to find loot and open it up and I don't know uh, it's, it's one of those things to where it's really really cool so there's another point of interest we're going to go knock that out real quick uh, what the hell happened to this guy and I like the looting because I mean the looting reminds me of like Far Cry uh, which is one of my favorite games of playing and then something else you can do is and I don't want to swap it out but they need to touch this up a little bit. If you notice, I had to go off of it and go back on the gun just because it wouldn't recognize that you could loot it, which I like doing because I don't want an AK. Since we already have one in our inventory, there's no point and I'm not going to swap it out. So, Now, I'm kind of curious. Um, once you guys start watching the video, if you just leave some comments for me below, let me know what you think of the game, what you might have experienced. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, leave a thumbs down for me. Um, but yeah, definitely leave some comments. I always enjoy those and enjoy responding to them. Um, it's just fun interacting with other gamers out there and kind of getting you, know, you guys your take on um, 
I don't even know what's in here. So we're going to pull out the old shotgun. Just getting your take on, you know, the gameplay and uh, what you think about the game in general. Some of the things that maybe you've experienced that I haven't and vice versa. All right, so we can't climb up there. So let's see here. What was that? I heard something groaning. So as I, the, earlier when I was playing, it was nighttime and I was walking through uh, the woods and I heard a howling noise and I was like, oh, what the hell? Because there are wolves in this game. There are deer in this game. I and mean, there are wildlife. What is this? What is this? What do we have here? Call elevator. I don't think the elevator is being called. That's not working. Hmm. Let's go over here and check this out. Something's not running. Maybe there's no power to it. I have no idea. There's nothing lighting up when I hit my Batman super sniper skill. So, I don't have the drone hacking ability. I'm kind of curious if that's what this is. There was another point of interest I could not do um, because I didn't have the drone hacking. But let's uh, send our drone down in the hole and find out what the what, the what is. Damn, this thing goes way on down. Gotten a little bit better at my drone flying abilities. It does get kind of sensitive. Whoa, stop. As I say that. There's all kinds of cool stuff down here. Alright. Bumping stuff with my drone. So what's this? Got tunnels. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to have to figure out a way to get down here. Looks like there's a case, a gun case down here. Yeah, you got to be really gentle with this thing because you bump it against anything and it, it just goes haywire. Let's see, is there anything back here? This is a safe hacking module. So we got to where we need to be, but unfortunately, I just don't have that open up yet. And part of that's probably due to the fact that I have not progressed far enough in the storyline. But I definitely want to get back to that because that is cool. So let's go into the next area, see what's over here at this point of interest. And what I'd like to do is just continue to play games, uh, play this game specifically. Do little recordings here and there for you guys. I just... I find it so enjoyable. I want to share that experience with y'all. And hopefully you'll see exactly uh, the enjoyment that I'm getting out of it. And maybe you'll experience the same thing. Because, I, again, I think there's a lot here. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. There's a lot here to like. You just got to get past the bugs. I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I like the fact that, you know, the sun's starting to come up and the time in this game is something else. And I'm sure you can set the time um, to where it fluctuates. I've left it alone, whatever the default setting is. And I actually like it. So if I start out at night, there's a long progression of night. And as I keep playing, obviously night pro transitions into to daytime, but it takes a while. So it's not as fast as say Far Cry 3 or uh, some of the other games out there, um, like Homefront Revolution, I mean, time will progress really quick in that game. And again, I'm sure you could set the defaults on those, but I just like the way the, the default time setting is on this. It just gives you more time. And I, and I like being able to start out whenever the hell I want, whatever time frame I set up to start out at. What's going on here? See, this is something really cool in the game. It's not on the map. There's nothing here, I don't think. Let's take a look. See, because our point of interest is way over there. We haven't even got to that yet. So I'm running across something completely different here. So it looks like we have a boot and some apples. So we're going to go ahead and analyze this. Soldier vehicle lock scanning. 
trails discovered. So I wonder if that's going to uh, take us to our point of it. Whoa. What the hell? Okay. Maybe we shouldn't go that way. Definitely got some luggage down there. And there is some popping texture issues. I've noticed that when loading the guns. I mean, I will bring that up. There are some issues there. But I mean, I don't know. I, I mentioned in my other video that just listening to the sounds. I mean, this game does a great job of making you feel like you're you're a sniper you're you're there you're you're isolated by yourself you're alone there's no one there to help you you can't call for backup and just listening to the sounds i mean it's as if you're you're out there the the devs did a really good job of the creaking trees the birds the wind and I'm, hopefully you guys can hear all this because uh, it's really important. I pointed that out in my other video. And the sounds change. They're not the same from the time that you transition from nighttime to daytime. I mean, it's, it's different. You have hooting owls at night and maybe a bird chirp here or there or howl or something. But here I hear flutters, trees creaking, wind blowing. Several different birds. I hear a frog. What I'm assuming is a frog. Anyway, the sounds in the game are some of the best that I've heard personally um, that have been implemented. The only other time I think I can recall something like this is when I was playing, and as crazy as it may sound, was Dead Island. I remember stepping out on that pier and just listening to the wind and the ocean as it crashed against the, the shore. It just gives you a, a different sense. There was a fish. See, I don't know if you guys heard that. I mean, something popped. It sounded like a fish in the water. It really just pulls that player into the game, and I, I can't emphasize that that is so important. Just a different type of birds that I'm hearing. It's not one recycled bird. I mean, that is, it's incredible. So we're going to go over here right now. Enough of me blabbing on about the sounds in this game and just some of the things I wanted to point out. Um, here are the footprints. And I was tracking one earlier, and as I was tracking the footprints, it stopped me and said, hey, something else you know you need to analyze here and it actually ended up being from two soldiers there were three because another foot set of footprints showed up and one of them happened to end up being like a sniper so this game does have a tendency to throw different things at you so what's interesting is the footprints lead off to the left but to the right there's a climbing spot and that's to our point of interest i'm going to go to the left here and see what's going on and what is this looks like an old truck Oh yeah, this is one of those old trucks that had the uh, rocket launchers on the back of it. Wow, that is really cool. I don't know if that was World War I or II. I'm sure one of you guys can tell me. But anyway, that's really, really neat. Some luggage. I wish we could open the luggage. That'd be kind of neat. These trucks definitely look like from the 40s. I guess uh, the... They could have been used in both World Wars, but definitely old. All right, so I'm lost. I'm over here talking and lost my footprints, so where the hell did they go? So through the water and around and over the hill to grandmother's house we go. Yeah, definitely got sidetracked there. What is over there? A tree. And I've upgraded my uh, my sniper scope on, on the gun. And actually, the gun I'm using is one that I picked up off of uh, another sniper. Because it was better than the default gun you start out with. So. Wow, that's just really cool. The sunlight coming up. As so we come up the hill, it's just kind of glaring at us. All right, let's use our... Drone. It's definitely taking us to the point of interest. There's, there's one. So we have three. Is there any way I can line all three of these up? Oh, that'd be so cool. Let's see if we can crawl up the hill here.
I probably could, but this big bush is in my way. I mean, three would be an epic shot. So it does look like it's there's a possibility. I feel like shooting a Georgian. I feel like shooting a Georgian. I just don't have the right angle on it. Cause he is Hey. I hope my family's all right. Looks like I can, I can get two, but not three. Because that guy's way I over to the right. Damn. We're under attack. Oh, that didn't work out well. Oh, no. Report your findings. Let's uh, switch to the old shot again and see what happens here. Is there anybody left to search the perimeter with? Because I honestly didn't think so. I was trying to get way too fancy and my sniping abilities failed me. So let's go over here and check this out and see what... Uh, in the world they were doing. Wow. Uh, he split his head open. Dude was just out here having a nice little picnic, minding his own business, and they split him open. So, man, we steal his wallet and take the goods and leave. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Look at that up there. Looks like a stop train. That's interesting. Looks like it's one that you can climb on top of. And that's the other thing. You have to make sure to repair your sniper. Silencer. Actually, that's my learning ability on my drone, which is really cool. Let's see here. Yeah, let's go ahead and use this and repair. Because if you don't repair your sniper silencer or your gun silencer, then of course they do wear out. And that's a cool mechanic. I mean, yeah, it can be a pain, but it is a really neat mechanic. Oh wow, there's something up here. Looks like a little camp they set up. Got a train blocking one way. What do we have over here? Oh, is there a sniper up here? Oh, look at that. Sneaky, sneaky. Well, hey, you heard my drone. You're about to hear my bullet. So I think what we're going to, what we will do, is I'll go over here, we'll do this mission real quick. Is, is that a point of interest? What is this? Damn, there's all kinds of stuff there. So there's a sniper and three guys. We'll take out the sniper first, and then uh, I'll uh, take out those three guys. Maybe we can take over the sniper perch. And then uh, kill the remaining guys down there so yeah we'll do that and then we'll go ahead and end this video but uh, it's just really cool uh, the lighting in this game is fantastic just another underrated game a game that came out too soon that uh, they screwed up and just pushed it out the door and they needed to fix a few things and they still do but am I not going to be able to get up here
I guess my sticky hand ability evades me on this one. So let's see if we can work our way around to some lower ground. I like the different color of uh, leaves and trees in the game. The foliage is really nice. Oh, I can do this. Oh, come on. I can do it. I can do it. Sounds like the train's running. Or something's running. Hold on, where was that sniper at? Right there. All right, so let's take this bad boy out. He's 152 away, so we'll stick this right about there. Let's see here. Come on. Nice. Let's see if we can go up on this side. And that's the cool thing about this game. It's just the freedom that you have. Jump, jump, and jump like a frog. Buddy, come on. Struggle up the hill. It's the freedom. I mean, you just have so much freedom to do what you want. And how, how you want to approach and attack him. With the other sniper games, it was really linear. Set an eye shot. Oh my god, right through the eye. That was excellent. Excellent. Uh, like he was taking a piss, but he's smoking a cigarette. Oh my god. Oh, that was so sweet. The effect of the blood on the back of the wall. I'm kind of glad it didn't do the whole sniper action that time. That was really cool. You Are you okay? I don't think he's okay. Why don't you come on down here and check it out? Reporting casualty. Oh, he's right there. Friendly Ear hole, possibly? Roger. Investigate and report. Are there more? I didn't see any more. I'm apparently missing somebody. Where is he? Enemy must be nearby. Search the perimeter. Oh, I see him. He is right there. Looks like there's two of them. Okay, so let's go over here. Maybe I can shoot him through the opening here. No, it's offset. It's one of ours. Can we climb up here? Oh, yes, we can. I don't know that this is actually a good idea, but we can climb up here. Nope. Ah, damn. Down. Let's do some Far Cry injection. Yeah, that was a mistake. Oh, shit. He knows nothing, and that must be somebody else. Oh my god. How in the hell is he shooting me through this? Oh shit. We all surrender. Don't shoot us. We're unarmed. We're not a threat. Ah, damn. We all surrender. Don't shoot us. I'm not using all of my health ability because you can die really easy in this game. There's the other one right there. Let's break out the shotgun. Screw this. Got him. Yeah, it's definitely... This game is definitely set up for sniping. Uh, it's not really set up to go in and just start shooting people. So let me clear this thing out and see what we got. 
I know nothing. Don't kill me. We're on arm. We're not a lot of ready. electronics in here. I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed. Well, then leave if you're unarmed. Place to hide. The other cool thing is the map. You can look at your map and see corpse, corpse. There's something here. You can tag it to help you find it. Yeah, we definitely need to pick these back up since I used all of my damn health. I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed. Okay. Let's go ahead and loot that gun. I don't want to fight. I have no weapon. Please. That's one thing I, I wish they would have done was to just the voices on you know, the NPCs try not to recycle them because that's exactly what they did is it up here on top of this thing hold on can I get up here <coughs> why am I missing this I don't want to fight. I have no weapon. Please. Maybe it's down. Let's see. Well, it shows that it's in there. That's interesting because I don't see it in there. Some things are really hard to find too, um, very, very small, like the wallet, so those are easily missed. In this case, I'm wondering if this is a bug because I don't see it. Unless it's blending in somewhere, right there. Look at that, as I was just talking about, see the little wallet on the ground? Very, very hard to see. And they did that on purpose, obviously. So you can walk around like me aimlessly. So I haven't cleared this yet. I don't think. Or did I? Yeah, I actually, I guess I did clear it out. It looks like an outpost. Because that's sabotage. There's nothing there. Uh, some explosive parts. Let's go upstairs. You know nothing. I know nothing either. I would shoot the guy, but I'm not exactly sure if I'd get penalized for that or not. Can't get up on top. Anything else, Mr. Batman skills? Definitely check the weapons out when you kill people because you never know what they're going to drop. So most of the time it's AK-47s, but I picked up a shotgun this way, so that's so cool. The blood splat. Now, I know I didn't kill him, so... I'm unarmed. We're unarmed. We're not a threat. I don't want to fight. Yeah, probably I have not no a good weapon. idea, so we're not going to do unarmed. that. We're not a threat. I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed. I know nothing. This is the last thing. All right, so that's going to do it for this one, guys. I wanted to share a few things with you, show exactly what I'm doing in the game. There is rain too. It looks like it's about to start raining just because of the color of the sky. But in any case, hopefully you've enjoyed the, this little video we did. I'll be putting out more of these if, as I come across things. Uh, I think they're really cool to, to share. So if you liked it, like I said before, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. And as always, leave comments. Love responding to those. If you guys haven't, please subscribe. Until next time, you guys take care.